Hello, fluff butts. No. Howdy. Bloody hell. Howdy, fluff butts. It's me, Florian and Cortez, and today. Oh, damn it. His hat fell off. Howdy. No. Howdy there. No. Howdy there, fluff butts. It's me, Florian and Cortez, and today. I've got a different type of video for all of you today. We are going to be going on Yahoo Answers. You know, that meme page of a questions and answers like thing. Pregnant, 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 prefnat, pregnant. And we are going to be going on the site and we are going to be reviewing questions and answers based around bronies and the brony fandom in general. Yes! Frankly, I don't think really anyone takes the site seriously as a questions and answers page because everyone just takes things out of context so easily or they just troll their way through with every single question they read. So, you know what? I'm going to review different types of questions related to bronies. So, here we go. Is my son in a cult, brony? I like how she separated the brony from the cult, like, as if they're not interchangeable. I have a feeling my son is in a cult. He always talks to his friends about, <laughs> about some deities called Celestia and Luna. Like they're, like they're deities, like they're actual beings. I raised him to be a Catholic boy and he's going to stay one. Yes, son, you're staying as a Catholic boy. You only respect one deity in this house. Only one, not anything else, not these Bullshit horses. Please help me out. Sounds like a typical single mother. I'm afraid your son is a brony. But don't worry, it's as much as a cult as Pokemon, Harry Potter, or any other pop culture icon. Minus Twilight. <laughs> wow, what a way to start a bit of segregation. Twilight is sort of like a cult. How? If he hits his late 20s and is still into that sort of thing, then you should probably get him some therapy. Well, Time to call time to call up my therapist because I'm 21 and apparently I need help according to Kat. Nope, he is a brony. I should know. I'm a Peggy sister, the female equivalent. <laughs> I love this response by Matt. I'm sure you don't have better things to do than sitting on your fat ass all day watching that garbage. Get a life, loser. I love that. <laughs> is it wrong for me to be a brony? Maybe. Betrayal. Nope, I don't see anything wrong with it. Hell, it is better than the music and some cartoons in this decade. Who cares, man? Just live your life without anybody dissing it. Guys are so sensitive to it, damn it. They're not gay or- <laughs> What? What the hell? Where did that assumption come from? No way. Embrace your broniness. I love MLP FIM and nobody is gonna stop me. No one is gonna stop us bronies. We must continue our legacy. No one can stand in our way of domination. Don't let anyone stop you and continue your adoring hobby. I'm a brony and a clopper. Oh no. Getting social pressure from the people and the government to stop being this way. But should I stop? How can you be pressurized by the government for liking a TV show? It's not right for you to tug your junk to that. In addition, you should stop being a brony. It is creepy for a grown man to watch a show for little girls. Who said it was for little girls? Pull something up on Pornhub and stop being a pedo. I guess I gotta do what he says. Oh wait, never mind. Would women date a brony? I stumbled upon this pony fad thing. <coughs> it's not a fad. It's a lifestyle. And I'm a bit perplexed. I watched a bit of an episode that left me even more perplexed. Can't, can't they think of a different word? But apparently, people are fervent enough to have a convention over this hobby. As if My Little Pony wasn't a big thing from like the 1980s. And then they just try and write like a full Bible. Like, what the hell? Going into like masculinity, if it's threatening genders. Like, calm the fuck down. <laughs> How about you love your man or your partner for who he is, not judge him based on what he likes? How simple is that? How simple is that? What are the different stages of being a brony? 
like we're getting, like there's a bit of an evolution cycle to this. By the way, I have a favorite character. If it's not Applejack, we're gonna have a problem. Yeah. You see, MLP. <gasps> Like MLP. Oh. And then it just goes two different ways. Do you either become a super fan and then you just become a complete fan? <laughs> or you can become corrupt and you can become an anti brony. <laughs> Damn, this thing just got gruesome quick. Girls, why is it a turn off when an attractive guy is a brony? How is being a brony worse than being an abusive drunk? Well, you know, apparently people think. Bronies are pedophiles and they're gay. Uh, can you see my point? What the hell is a brony? Yep, yeah, you just tell me. I, I don't know. It's not like I got this weird horse plushie for, for nothing. Will I be accepted as a brony at school? Can a fellow brony answer this question? Not an MOP hate. I really hope they bully the shit out of you. I never knew Anonymous was so threatening, but... Damn. What is the deal with bronies? Like how you just put it in between speech marks, like as if it's not a real thing. They're just the creation of one pedophile's mind. It's so unreal, I know. But I have no idea why some adult males are obsessed with My Little Pony. You just had to make your point there with the capitalization, mate. <sighs> Do I even want to read this? Why do bronies tend to be terrible people in real life? Bronies? Really? Don't hang out with them. They're creepy as f God, get your get your grammar right, please, Amy. Getting off to sexualized version of my little ponies. Amy, if you want to stop people from sexualizing your little ponies, then do not answer on this webpage. Please restrict yourself. This is a little girl toy, and you're looking at it lustfully like that. <sighs> you know what, Cortez? Let's have a bit of fun. <laughs> I've never met one. They sound fake. I guess I just don't exist then. Goodbye, fuckbutts. Who do my friends think bronies are gay? That's a very intriguing question there. What are, the, what are the responses? Bronies are gay, and they need mental care. That escalated. Why can't bronies take criticism? Okay, I have my constructive feedback on the show, and wow, it could have, like, increased its potential, but apparently I can't take criticism. I can. Throw at me all the reasons why you hate me for being a brony. Go on, try me. Just add that little smiley face at the end, like, hey, you're not gonna break me. Throw me all the reasons why you hate My Little Pony. I'll wait. You know what? I wanna, I wanna search something. Bronies, do you agree that Applejack and Rarity need more love? Yes. A friend of mine dislikes Applejack because she hates country ponies and her accent is annoying. Uh, ouch. What a shame. Alright, Fluffbutts, I think that does just about it for the Yahoo Answers video. In all honesty, I could go on forever and ever going on this Yahoo Answers site for more questions related to bronies because they're all very laughable and they're pretty incomprehensible because they're, they're really funny to look at and just read through, but I think that is enough. I will be making another video on the Yahoo Answers site because it is so much fun and I think it will be themed more towards the furry fandom and furries together. So, that does it. Please be sure to like, comment and subscribe down for more content and I will see you Fluffbuds very soon. Goodbye!